Hey guys, what's up? It's Eunice and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be talking about some of my favorite products from this year. So some of this I've discovered late last year or some of it I haven't mentioned in a while. But one thing's for sure, there's a lot I have to cover. So without further ado, let's get on to the products. So first off is primer. So this primer is something that I like to use for every day. And it's the CoverGirl Olay Simply Ageless Anti-Aging Foundation Primer. So the reason why I love this is because it reminds me so much of the NYX Angel Veil Primer. But it has anti-aging ingredients in it. So I love this because it's kind of a dupe for the Tatcha Silk canvas primer as well which I have right here. I only have like the deluxe sample size version but I don't think I need to purchase the full size version of this just because I get the everyday look that I want from the CoverGirl. I like the way that it hydrates and smooths out my face in preparation for foundation. Next category is foundation. I have a couple of foundation favorites here just because foundation is one of my favorite Hulog. So foundation is one of my favorite product categories. So I have a couple and this is something that I always love to try out. Let's start with my everyday foundation. So this is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. This replaced my Maybelline Fit Me foundation. I love it because it's like a sheer buildable to medium coverage. But even though it has a good coverage on my face, it doesn't look like it's sitting on top of my face. It really looks natural. So it's great for everyday type of makeup. Uh, it doesn't look dewy but it doesn't look matte as well so it's really like your skin but better in my opinion I love the fact that I could blend this out using my sponge or my brush and get the same look it's super easy to blend it takes me a couple of minutes it also wears very beautifully throughout the whole day and it's very lightweight that I don't even feel like I'm wearing any foundation now the next product is something that I use whenever you know it's a special occasion you know someone's birthday and we're eating out stuff like that or if I just want more coverage on my face and I've talked about this before and it's the Anastasia Luminous Dewy Foundation. So this is one of my favorites. I think it's been my favorite since last year. This replaced my Too Faced Born This Way foundation just because this one has more of a dewy natural finish which I like since I have dry skin. I also love this for like the winter times whenever it, it's too cold so, so my skin is more apt to like looking dry and dull so I like this finish for those days. Para it's it's just like a boost and it makes my face look more radiant and I like the way that this applies with a sponge for a more natural look but use a brush for a more full coverage look. Again, this is one of my favorite foundations for two years now. Two years na ba? No, one year. Yeah, for over a year now and I'm still in love. I can't wait to repurchase this. Now let's go to the foundation stick. I don't think I've talked about this in like a 2020 or a whole year of favorites but the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. I love this so much because it's super easy to use. You just twist it up you put marks on your face and you blend it out with a brush. It looks so natural. I kid you not. Literally your skin but better. May napapansin ba kayo? Parang the trend on the foundation favorites this year. More natural, the better. I don't know what it is but I've been into mas less coverage, less full coverage makeup and just really my skin but better type of looks. And that is why I love this Hourglass product. I actually just use this during the winter time because I find that whenever I use this during the summer, I feel like my skin looks too dewy nam nagmumukha siyang oily and it doesn't look clean. So this is more of like a seasonal product in my opinion but it's one of my favorite foundation sticks. You really do get what you pay for because the finish of this is just amazing. It looks so natural but it covers up all my problems areas where I have like veins peeking through, some scarring and whatnot. So highly recommend the Hourglass Vanish foundation stick if you're looking for like a foundation stick that you can travel with because it's very compact, it doesn't spill, it's very neat and that is why I love it and I included it in this year's roundup. The other two products are more of your literally everyday lazy day type of makeup. I have a tinted moisturizer and a tinted sunscreen. So for tinted moisturizer, I really love the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer. This has hyaluronic acid and hyaluronic acid is one of my favorite ingredients when it comes to skincare. Because of the fact that I have dry skin, I really have to put an effort to make sure that it looks radiant and healthy whenever I apply makeup on. Because if I don't, it's gonna look dry and dull and I do not like that. Like when I first started using makeup, I was so 
so into the mga matte finish, pero I then realized na it doesn't go sit well on my skin. It literally looks like it's sitting on top of my face. But as I practice and learn more about my skin and the type of makeup that I want, that's how I found what really fit my skin type. And this is one that I'm so glad I've tried. Again, the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. This is a one-and-done product. After I apply sunscreen, I just throw this on without having to apply primer or moisturizer and it sits very nicely on my skin. It melts on my skin, really getting that skin-like finish. But it has a really dewy look that if you have more an, of an oilier skin type, you might not like this. Because I have dry skin and this is way too dewy for me. Sometimes I have to really set it with powder. But like I said, this is one of the products that I use when I'm just at home, you know, there's some video calls and whatnot. It's a good everyday product. And again, a two-in-one product. It replaces my moisturizer whenever I apply this right after, you know, my skincare routine because it really does a great job moisturizing and hydrating my face because of the increase ingredients in this product. I also love the fact that it comes in a pump tube because it's less mess but you can really get into the product and finish it up after. This is one of my favorite type of packaging when it comes to foundation because it's really easier to use. Whereas glass bottles can be kind of messy at times when you're traveling. And then last but not least for my face product or my base product is the BLK Tinted Sunscreen. Oh my gosh, I'm not sure if you guys have watched my BLK Universal review. This has been one of my favorite products. I love the fact that they have five shades and that's a big deal for local brands in the Philippines because our breadth of line is not as big yet as it is here in the US. So having five shades is really good. I mean, it could be better, but I really appreciate the effort put into that. And to be fair, this only costs around 300, was it three or 500 pesos? I, I can't remember, but it's not that bad compared to like the Happy Skin counterpart. So it's an illuminating skin tint sun shield. It has SPF 30, UVA, UVB, and it's a tinted sunscreen. So you can really use this as your sunscreen on days where you don't, you're not going outside and really bad under the sun. It could be a nice, you know, replacement for sunscreen when you're just going to the office, when you're just going to be inside your house and you'll have minimal sun exposure wherein you still need sunscreen but not as much as when you're at the beach. I also love this because it's so lightweight. I barely feel it on my skin and it has a great amount of coverage and the finish is very similar to the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Tinted Moisturizer where it really just looks like a radiant skin like finish while hiding my veins and scarring and all that all over my face. So I really love this and I like applying this using my hands, my sponge, or my brush. But the fact that I could apply this and blend it out with my hands, two thumbs up. Two thumbs up! And I keep going back to this. It's the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. So I have like the travel size here because hindi ko naman na yung full size version. So I mean the travel size is good enough it lasted me all throughout the whole year this year and I still apply makeup every day anyway. The reason why I love this is because of the fact that, you know, it hides my dark circles but it doesn't have a matte finish. It looks so natural on your under eye area. It doesn't look like you have concealer on because of the fact that it has that nice natural radiant finish. It's not dewy na you'd really see it shine, pero it's really skin-like. Again, I'm having a hard time like finding other ways to describe my favorite products for this year, but I found that this year I was really into skin-like products. That's why a lot of these products are used to achieve that kind of look. So I have a dupe for you guys, and this is something that I've discovered this year. This is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, and this is the hydrating version, the one with a white cap. So I've tried the one with the black cap before, and that was one of my favorites, but that has more of a matte finish, which I really don't mind because it's not as matte as the Tarte Shape Tape. But when they came out with the hydrating concealer, I was like so um, curious to see whether it was a dupe for the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. And I kid you not, it is a dupe. Siguro the shade lang is kind of off for the one that I got. I used the shade Medium Sand. 
it's a little bit dark for my under eye area whereas the natural beige from Too Faced Born This Way is just right. Like it gives my under eyes a nice bright look but it's not too bright whereas this one is more for like spot concealing all over my face. But overall, this is very comparable to the Too Faced Born This Way. So if you want to test out the Too Faced Born This Way, I highly recommend trying out the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer first. See if you like that look and if you like it, then in invest in the Too Faced Born This Way because at the end of the day, the wear of the Too Faced Born This Way is still a lot better than the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer because with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, I can see some creasing at the end of the day whereas Too Faced Born This Way, it just wears beautifully throughout the whole day. For powder, I have no new favorites. I'm still stuck with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. This is in the shade Light Medium. It's still my favorite. I love this powder. I mean, it's the perfect powder for like smoothing out my skin skin and finishing off my makeup look and whatnot. So yeah, this is still my favorite. I've used this for over three years now and nothing beats it. It's only $5 so you get the bang for your buck. For contour, no new favorite as well. Still stuck with the Kat Von D shade and light in the shade Shadow Play. But for bronzer, I discovered something new this year. So this is the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel Bronzing Makeup Base and I am so in love with it. It's not that, I, I don't want to say it's super expensive because you really get a lot. It's a cream bronzer and I like applying this with like a flat top brush. I love this because it's very lightweight. It has like that barely there look so it doesn't look like you're wearing bronzer at all on your face. So I wear this on an everyday basis. It's super easy to use. Sometimes I don't even contour my face. I just go directly with this for a more natural look and it's amazing. It has an 18 month shelf life as well. You will definitely go through it within those 18 months because it's a good everyday product. Product. For blush, I'm loving the Happy Skin Color Play Multi-Use Mousse. So this is more a multi-use product, but I don't love it, love it as much on my eyes and my lips as much as I love it for my blush. I mean, it's good, it's okay for your eyes and your lips, pero as a blush, it's amazing because it's so pigmented, a little goes a long way, and it's so long lasting. This is one of the products that I use whenever I know that I'm going out and I'm going to put a mask on because it's mask proof. It lasts throughout the whole day. It's very lightweight, very pigmented. It has a, a couple of different shades and it will last you throughout the whole year. You only need like one teeny tiny dot to cover your entire cheek area. It looks so natural. It doesn't sit on top of your face. It melts on your cheeks which makes it look like kinilig ka lang talaga ganyan. So I really love this. It has a nice, you know how tints look on your cheek? That is the finish of this, pero in cream form, which I love because it makes it, it gives me enough time to blend it out on my face before it dries up. And once it dries up, I'm good to go throughout the whole day. It's gonna last whenever I step out of my door and whenever I come back, it still looks the same. I'm sorry if I'm talking way too fast. It's just because like my favorites get me so excited to talk about it. So sorry, I'm gonna try and slow down na now. Nakakatawa because my lolo told my dad na he watched one of my videos and sabi niya, ang galing ang galing ni Eunice. Pero sabihin mo sa kanya mag slow down siya sa pagsasalita niya. <laughs> sabi ko kay daddy, dad, ganun kasi talaga ako. But anyway, I'm so sorry, but the good thing about it is we're breezing through all of the products and now we're down to the highlighter. So this is one of my favorite highlighters this year. Napapansin nyo ba? Puro cream, liquid na yung mga products na favorite ko. Wala na ako masyadong powder product. Sobrang nag-change yung makeup style ko, but I'm here for it. I love it. So this is the Rare Beauty Highlighter in the shade Mesmerize. So it's like a liquid luminizer. It has a doe foot applicator. I've recently just filmed like a review video on this one. And I've mentioned that if you are planning to buy something in the Rare Beauty line, this is something that you need in your life. I sometimes mix this in my primer or my foundation to give a more natural radiant look or just use it simply as a highlighter. It doesn't have glitter at all. It's like the Anastasia Amrezy highlighter but in liquid form which I love. So what I like to do is apply highlighter first and then blush to really give it that nice natural look. It is the highlighter that I'm wearing right now. It's very subtle but it's there and it really improves your makeup look and just highlights the best features of your face. Wow! Okay, so I don't 
talk about this too much, but the Happy Skin Glitter Everyday Liquid Eyeshadow, for some, they don't really like this because it has a tendency to crease. But what I like to do is just apply it on the center of my lids right before my eyes creases. And then after that, I just apply like a nice transition shade and then finish it off with an eyeliner and I am good. It's so easy for everyday makeup if you're not that great at applying eyeshadow yet. This is something that I recommend. It's very beginner friendly. The doe foot is very thin so it's easy to go in the crevices of your eyelid without you know messing it up and whatnot. It lasts throughout the whole day too. It's, it wears really nicely and it's a very flattering shade on your lids. I like the shade Glitzy just because it's more of your bronze shade whereas yung fancy is more of your champagne shade i really like fancy as well but just for every day i like the mixture of glitzy and a nice transition like a warm transition shade topped off with an eyeliner and then actually this is what i'm wearing on my eyes right now it's just nice it looks like you put in effort to your like eye makeup but really it took like three steps okay lipstick i have two favorites and they're both from the same brand i know i know pagod na tayo marinig to happy skin happy skin is really my favorite lip brand or is, is my favorite brand for lip products so the first one is of course the lip mallow i cannot shut up about this because it's so lightweight you can barely feel it on your lips but it's very pigmented and very flattering on your lips as well it doesn't dry out your lips even though it has like a nice demi matte demi matte pwede ba yun sa lips parang soft matte yung finish niya so it makes it look more plump and parang mas may dating kapag ganun yung itsura but I also love this because they come in a variety of shades that are all flattering like I don't have a favorite shade sa lip mallow because they're just also flattering to me and I love using them for the daily and again they're super easy to use they have a very thin doe foot applicator so it's easy to really mimic like the shape of your lips whenever you're filling it in with this lip mallow next is again another happy skin favorite and it's actually Actually, something that was recommended by one of you guys. It's the Happy Skin Glossy Tint. So I ordered one shade in the, sh in the shade Tanned and I immediately fell in love with it because it's so refreshing because it's like that watery texture pero yung finish niya, it's glossy but it's not too glossy na parang ang lagkit. So it's really refreshing. So I love using this during like the summertime kasi medyo malagkit at mainit sa labas. I bought four more shades and magsa-swatch review tayo. Swatch review, mag just watch video tayo soon once that arrives but for now i really love this because it's like a lip tint formula but it's not as drying because sometimes for me lip tints could be drying and if you've watched my happy skin lip video i didn't like the kiss and bloom mousse tint i think i like the formula of this one better it's more long lasting and it's more hydrating on my lips as well so yeah highly recommend this for every day whenever i'm in a rush this is what i like to apply because what i do is apply i apply it on the center of my lips and then I just blot it all over to like have that nice natural lip color. Okay, next we have mascara. I know you guys already know this. Heroin make mascara paren, but for this year I tried out their brown shade and I love it because it looks more like your natural lashes. I mean, di naman natural yung open na open na lashes, diba? Pero mas maganda yung itsura niya on me than, you know, your typical black lashes. Parang yung black na um, mascara is more for special occasions and events whereas this brown mascara is more for my everyday makeup looks and again i'm sure you guys already know this by now heroin make the reason why i love it is because it just keeps my lashes up the entire day and for someone who has droopy eyes that's a super hard thing to do because a lot of the other mascaras if they're the formula is too heavy it's just gonna weigh down my lashes and by the end of the day mukha kong ganyan nakapikit na so i really love this it could be a pain to take off after but all you have to do is either you know get a good cleansing balm or buy the mascara remover that heroin make also sells and you're good again i barely use false lashes anymore ever since i started using the heroin make mascara next category is setting spray i have three right here so let's start with like the usual setting spray so I've loved the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray that's still like one of my favorite setting sprays. It's like an OG and it's something that I feel like we have in each other's, you know, vanity and makeup collection. Another one is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, but I haven't really purchased that this year 
because I discovered something new and it is a local product and that is the Lux Organics Beauty Mist by Anne Clute. Sobrang in love ako dito. Ang ganda ng pagmelt niya ng makeup sa face ko and it's very refreshing. It yun lang medyo strong yung scent niya so hopefully matone down nila yon but other than that the mist is amazing as in talagang with just one pump mako cover niya lahat ng entire face mo melts makeup so nicely on your skin it makes it you know when you have powders on your face talaga na papa melt niya lang and napapansin ko at the end of the day maganda pa rin yung lapat ng makeup sa skin ko so it's like a setting spray and a, like an urban decay all nighter setting spray in one if not mas maganda pa kasi mas maganda talaga yung pag melt niya ng makeup sa skin ko i don't know this is one of my favorites and hopefully hindi ko siya maubos agad because ay, hindi pwede naman ako always magpabili highly recommend this guys if you're looking for a nice setting spray that it can do it all this is the one for you next setting spray is something that i use to refresh my face throughout the day it has a very nice scent too and the way that it melts makeup on your face it adds a little bit of dewiness to it so on colder days when i feel like my face just looks powdery this is the setting spray that i, that I use so it's a color pop pretty fresh hyaluronic acid setting mist i also love the mister on this one because it's sabuksha and it's really fine and another thing that i love about this is the scent it has like a coconutty scent which is very refreshing it smells like summer every time i use this i feel like it's summer but it's not because it's december na. but anyway like i said i really love this similar to the antlute setting mist na may melt niya talaga yung makeup on your skin very nicely wherein hindi magbumuhang yung makeup is nakapatong sa skin niya so highly recommend this product as well and i love it last but not the least is a sunscreen setting mist and that is the sun glow by fresh sun mist it has spf 50 uva uvb it's made in korea and i see you can see half na lang yan because i find myself whenever i'm going out after like i have to run errands this is the setting mist that i want to use just because i feel like it adds another layer of protection on my skin and like this Anclude Setting Mist, maganda yung pagkaka-melt ng makeup niya sa face mo and napapatagal niya din naman yung makeup at some point. But the only problem is it has a very strong scent. It's not as strong as the Anclude one. It's a little bit more subtle but the scent is still there. So if you're sensitive to like the scent in products, I don't recommend these two products for you guys. Pero kung okay naman kayo sa scent, hindi nyo na kailangan bumili ng high-end brand or ng international brand because these two products, these two setting sprays, just do it all. I love them. So I have two palettes that I've been loving this year and these are like face palettes and the first one is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Unlocked Palette. This is something that you get only during the holidays and it's one that has everything. It has like setting powders, a bronzer, blush, and a highlighter. I always recommend this palette because it's great for traveling and for an hourglass product, you get everything that you need. Ang dami pa nito. I use it for every day but I haven't made a dent on it. It still looks like brand new. But again, it's more for your natural everyday type of makeup so if you want to invest like in something that's high end and something that you could definitely use for every day i highly recommend this i believe this is only 80 dollars and you get a full face of products in it like i said it's great for traveling because it's just one palette and the the mirror is big enough for your entire face so i've been using this non-stop recently because i've been into nga yung natural everyday makeup look so i use this to set my face my entire face tapos bronzer na din and blush and highlighter and all that so if you're looking into you know splurging this holiday season if it's still available highly recommend getting this palette another face palette is the natasha denona sculpt and glow palette i never thought that i would like this product but it went on sale at sephora about more than a year ago i believe and i was running out of my kat von d shade and light palette so i needed contour product and i will show you how much i've loved this product i'm about to hit pan on the cream products as well but i've already hit pan and made my mark on the contour powder i really love it it's comparable to the kat von d shade and light but on this palette i am actually able to use everything except this one the highlighting cream i just don't like the way it sits on top of my face but i like the japanese pressed powder down here to set my entire makeup it looks so smooth but it doesn't look powdery at all it looks very natural but it really smooths out my face and then again the contour powder i've used a ton and then the cream contour oh 
love this. I've never thought that I'd like cream contour as much as I like this. And then all over glow shimmer, which is okay. It's not like revolutionary like these three, but it's good to have. And then I also have this face glow cream that I sometimes apply underneath my foundation just to give it a little bit more of a radiant boost. And I also love the fact that the cream products have like a cover on top of them so it doesn't get messed up by the powders. And then last but not the least, of course, a huge mirror. So whenever you're doing your makeup, you can really see your entire face. It's big and bulky, but the formula is so good. It's really smooth. It doesn't look patchy at all. And I'm so glad that I was able to try this product out. So this is kind of a new category that I'm throwing in here. And these are multi-use products. So these are products that you can use like in multiple ways. Tamaba. And yeah, the first one is the BLK Airy Matte. Tints. I love these. Similar to the Happy Skin Color Play, they're very lightweight, very pigmented, like a little goes a long way. I don't like using this on my lids, but what I like using them for is for my cheeks and my lips. I love this for my lips because it has like a thin formula that's kind of watery. So if you want like more of a pigmented matte look, this is great for like hot days because it's so refreshing on your lip. And the formula is so good. It's smooth. It's it's lightweight, it's long lasting, it's another mask proof makeup product for me too because whenever I use these lipsticks, yes, nagli lipstick po ako sa ilalim ng mask ko, I'm sorry. But yeah, whenever I use this under my mask, it doesn't budge. I mean, there's some transfer, a little bit lang, pero it doesn't look patchy on my lips. So that is why I love these products. I just love being able to use one product in multiple ways. So that is why I love this. And then this one is a more recent discovery and this is the Isian Co. Multi-Use Crayon in the shade Skinny Dipping. If you guys have seen my Izzy & Co. review, you guys have seen how much I love this product because of the fact that you can use it on your lids, on your cheeks, and your lips as well. It's so pigmented. It's so affordable. So if sabi ng mommy mo, isa lang yung pwede mong bilhin, ito na yun. Kasi meron ka na sa isang product, eyeshadow, blush, and lipstick. Diba? Again, it's very long-lasting. It's creamy, but not too creamy na mawawala siya agad on your face. I highly recommend this because it's so easy to use pero ang dami niyo mong pwedeng ma-achieve na looks. Okay, so I realized I didn't mention any brow products and that's because brow products, benefit brow products pa rin talaga ako. But I found myself just reaching for the browsings this year. I don't know what it was but I've already hit pan on this and I've had this for almost two years and it still works as good as I first opened it. Which is, I mean, it could be bad for me because it might be expired but I don't know. It works perfectly. I love it because it just looks so natural whenever I use the Benefit browsings. I love the combination of the wax and then set it with powder after. I feel like it makes it long, more long lasting and it's so, so easy to use. I don't know what it is, but I've been reaching for this product recently and I don't know why. Benefit browsings, guys. I feel like it's easier to style my brows using this compared to any other brow product at the moment. I know, sabi nila pencil yung pinaka maayos, but my problem with pencil is sometimes it's kind of hard. Not hard. I like the angled brush better. I don't know what. User error. User error! Labo! Anyway, I'm gonna end this the video with two brushes. So these are two brushes that I've discovered this year and I don't think I can live without anymore. It makes applying makeup every day so easy because I don't have to wash my beauty blender every morning anymore and just use these brushes. So these two brushes are from the Anne Klutz Beginner Brush Set. And this, the first brush is the blush brush, but I don't use it as a blush brush. I use it as my foundation brush and it's so good. Like, I don't know what it is. It's so soft. It blends out my foundation very nicely and quickly. And again, it's so high quality for the price that you pay. It doesn't have that much shedding. I've had this for a couple of months now like three four months and i've used this for every day wash it all the time and i love it it's changed the way that i looked at foundation brushes because before lagi pag bumibila ko ng brushes i always try to invest in it because you're only as good as the tools you use pero with these ones sobrang mura niya and it does the job pretty well the other one is her concealer brush i don't usually blend out my concealer with brushes because i find that Sometimes it's kind of more difficult, but with this one, it makes it so much easier 
easier. All I have to do is pat, 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 and then blend a little bit, and it looks so smooth afterward. At first, I thought that the brush was too big for my under eye area, but it was just the right size because I get the job done so quickly. And again, it's not prickly as well. It's very soft, but not too soft that it just sucks in all of the product. It really blends it out really well. And again, these are so affordable. If you buy the entire set, you get these two brushes in it. It's just gonna make the price that you paid for the entire set so worth it. Super love these products. So yeah, that is everything that I've loved for this year makeup-wise. I'm planning on making more of a lifestyle version of this video soon that has, you know, skincare, hair care, shows that I love, things that I've learned, and all that for the end of the year. So if you want to see that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I hope that you found this video very helpful. I was initially thinking of separating like my local brands from like the high-end high -end brands that I've tried, but for some reason, I a lot of the products that I talked about were local brands and they didn't have like an international counterpart. So I, I was like, okay, I'll just film it all together. It just goes to show that our local makeup scene is as good as any international brand now international international brand so yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed and you learned something new today you learned about a new product that you are hopefully interested in testing out thank you so much for watching this video i hope that you guys stick around i'll see you guys next time bye